Nina Zahar Binti Azman and Zalika Khalid. to grow up in the middle of a pandemic. It still has to be a time of learning, experimenting and discovering. It's just not as it once was. School isn't the same. Forming friendships is different now too. The kind of childhood young people now have will shape their adult lives, socially and economically. How to best prepare them? The COVID-19 pandemic has caused significant changes in lifestyles, jobs, and economy, forcing the world community, including Malaysia, to live in a new normal era. Activities such as working from home and using online platforms to sell and buy consumer products as well as conducting classes are on the rising trend and are expected to become a culture in the future. The youth or the Y and Z generations are one of those who have to adapt to the new normal. Here are some ways and tips for the elders to help our youth adjust to the new normal. Teens face many age group specific challenges during the coronavirus pandemic. Adolescence is a stage when many people value time with peers and seek independence from parents. Now, the coronavirus has left teens isolated from friends and at home with their families 24-7. However, parents can develop strategies to make life easier for teens and themselves during this challenging time. Teens who previously had heavily scheduled day of classes, sports practice, social outings, or part-time work may find it difficult to adjust to unstructured time. The lack of structure may enhance or amplify feelings of uncertainty teens often already experience. It is important for parents to genuinely encourage their teens to have a structure around schoolwork as well as household tasks. It is a simple principle to organize their time. They can do the hard thing, which is most likely schoolwork, and then do the fun thing such as video call with a friend or whatever it may be. It is also important to add that regular sleep and exercise schedules are also beneficial as these factors help regulate mood and provide structure. These are some of the examples that parents can help their child to adapt to the new norm. Moving on to the next point, I will pass to my partner, Zalika. Pass to you, Zalika. Thank you, Aina. The next point would be about balancing family and alone time. So the COVID-19 pandemic can be difficult for teens who are seeking a sense of self and privacy as they experience healthy development during the adolescence age. Because of this, it's important for parents to give space to their teens whenever they need. A teen's room may be their safe haven, and parents should not immediately worry if their teens are spending a good bit amount of time in the room. The suggest given by a study is that parents to have to be respectful by knocking before entering and asking permission first. Rather than making demands that teens have family time, parents should allow them to have their alone time as well. Undeniably, a number of youth do have their own personal problems and some might even need their alone time. So as good members of the family, space should always be given. Hi, I'm Adi. This time has brought concern, of course, challenges and many new opportunities. I think it's good to capture all the sides of this time, the good, the bad, and the in-between. Hi, I'm Talia. I think it's really important for adults to be able to hear and understand what teens are feeling. Hi, I'm Kai and I want kids like us to be able to get the help that they need. Hi, I'm Josh, and I want our communities to be able to stay strong, especially when it's so hard for us to keep up our physical bonds. Hi, I'm Dan. I hope that we can answer adults' questions about what's going on in teens' heads. Hi, I'm Lauren, and I want to help strengthen the connection between teens and adults. Hi, my name is James. As a football player who's supposed to be strong, even emotionally, I wanted to break the facade and share the feelings behind the mask. Hi, I'm Cindy, and together we all wanted to delve into what we've been experiencing during this pandemic. Another thing that youth can adapt to the new norm is connection through collaboration. Social isolation can be especially difficult for young people. The fact that so many things are connected through social media and online gaming can be helpful during this time.
However, if the youth push boundaries by wanting to visit their friends during physical distancing restrictions, the parents should have collaborative conversations around the actual risks and how this works in the context of the family. Instead of they meet physically, they can meet virtually. They can use platforms such as Zoom, Skype, Google Meet, and so on. Parents should not demand compliance since that will, mo will mostly cause the youth to push back. Instead, approach the situation by empathizing and treating the youth as if they are just about to do the next right thing. If the youth feel empowered and trusted, they will sometimes make better decisions about risk because it can be hard for parents to feel more out of control than their adolescents of a developmental shift in parenting is required to help support healthy, flexible decision making. It is the best way to get there to work on authentic, empathic, and more collaborative conversations with teens. While crises are stressful and scary, they're also a time that clarify what is most important to you. A helpful strategy for remaining resilient in this time is to change your perspective. When losses feel overwhelming, think about the things that you have grown to become more grateful for. Now, the next point will be coping with change and loss. So teens are experiencing many losses at this time, including missing parties, proms, sporting events, and maybe even graduation. The first action parents can take is to recognize that their teens may be in grieving, Parents can empathize and give space to their teens by listening and then receiving what their teens wish to say. A study has done and said to encourage parents to resist problem solving in this conversation. As the most important ingredient would it be for teens is if they were to be heard. If parents want to help their children to adapt to the new norm, they can try to ask thoughtful questions. It wouldn't be adolescents if there weren't some frustrations for youth. The youth should already know that timing is everything. A well-timed child when a teen is calm goes much further than in the middle of a heated argument when nobody can hear anything the other person is saying. Ask yourself, is your teen safe? Are they mostly responsive and connected in your home? Then see if you can let the minor irritations go. We all lose our temper sometimes, and it isn't necessarily a mark of disrespect to one another. Be gentle and empathetic and in quiet moments, set kind but firm boundaries when required about what behavior is and is not okay with you. Most of all, parents should listen and let what their teen has to say. It may be helpful for parents to take some time to think back what they were like and what they understood and how they viewed the world when they were teenagers and to let that thin self out to chat with their own teen. It looks like we had reached our program for today. My name is Aina Zahar Binti Azman and Zalika Khalid. Stay safe, stay at home. Bye and Assalamualaikum.